planting that story on Annie was cruel. As long as that woman has got you by the stones, Chandler's in danger, which means I'll keep coming. Oh, you are so damn transparent. You... <clears throat> you can't have Annie, so you don't want me to have her either. Annie? Annie makes me sick. No. No, what makes you sick is knowing that I am going to end up with everything that you want. Chandler, your father's respect, his wife. Mm. You're a joke. I'm a joke. Mm. These attacks on Annie, your, your pathetic attempts to get into my way, they are all going to blow up in your face, little cousin, and cost you the one person who still gives a damn about you. Do you have any idea what your husband did to me? I read the blog. Did you? Of course. Well, tell me, Annie, what part of it wasn't true? What JR did to you is nothing compared to what I'll do if you ever touch him again. I feel so, so sorry for you. Because you know, no matter how hard you try, JR is still obsessed with me. Erica, it's Jack again. Look, the guy from the SEC is at Fusion right now. I need you to come home. I'd like to give you ultimatums, but if you're not back here by Jake and Amanda's wedding, I'm going to come after you. And this time, I'm not going to stop until I find you. Let go of me! Let me go! Get off of me! Oh. Hey! See that? Your blanket was on fire. I was just trying to put it out. Huh? Don't you ever touch me again. You know what? You're not my prisoner here. You can leave any time you want. Do us both a favor. Sorry for trying to save your life. I'm going back to that plane wreckage. And I'm sure that I can find something. A radio, a flare, maybe my cell phone, anything. Anything that will keep me the hell away from you. Thank you. Sorry you're so stressed out. I'm sorry for the stress I've caused you. I'm gonna make it right, Green Man. We're partners. I should have trusted that. I should have trusted what we have. I'm not going anywhere. Take it. I'm sorry. I am so sorry.